welcome everyone. All right. This comes from the book called The Night as a Wellspring of Strength, Sleep, Spiritual Encounters, and the Starry Firmament. It's one of those books where there are multiple um, lectures taken about this subject and put and combined into one book. And at the very end of it, or near the end of it, there were some meditations and verses as well. And I just thought this was perfect for tonight and Jeffrey's induction. Look into the realm of your soul, and there you can feel the powers of light of all the cosmic breaths and the workings divine of time's unfolding course. Look into realms of sun and universe, and there you can see the spirit light of your own heart and also the creative working of your powers of soul. Thus joyfully, the human soul can find in the depths of heart, cosmic starry heights. And the human eye find in cosmic starry heights, heart deep spirit weaving. Um, Michael, could yep. you put that? Is it possible to see that on the camera, the cover of that book? Yes. Hold on. Oh, was welcome, Liam. No, I just I had them all out. I just uh, pull it. I didn't make it. Want to make it complicated? Sorry. Here's my cup. <laughs> welcome, not, Leon. No worries. While Michael is finding that, uh, I'll just let everyone know. Uh, there you go. Welcome for those of you watching this later. Uh, Jeffrey Levy is being inducted onto the Central Regional Council. And this will just be quick, 10 minutes. Um, Lisa is going to first lead us in a peace movement that you're welcome to do at home, big, small, however you wish. And then Lisa and I and Mike will share some brief appreciations of Jeffrey. Then Jeffrey will share a poem or two Thank and you. why he wants to serve the CRC. And then we'll all do a group statement of support before Lisa concludes us with Hallelujah in Eurythmy. Anyone who would like to uh, stand is welcome to do so. You could also do this from the seated position. <clears throat> May peace be below us. Rising up. May peace be above us. May peace be all around us. May peace be before us. May peace be behind us. May peace be within us. Okay. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Welcome, Lisa. Alberto. Welcome, John. Hi. Thanks for having me. That does. All right. So, right now, Lisa is our senior member of the CRC. She's been on the council the longest at this point. It's a pretty new council. I, I was just inducted two years ago and Mike one year ago. And now we have Jeffrey. So 
Lisa's going to go first, and then uh, I will and Mike will share our appreciations of Jeffrey. So I'm spotlighting Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey, I want you to know how much I appreciate your smile. I feel like every time we gather for a meeting, uh, for a study group, uh, for a discussion of any kind, that I will be well met with an open hearted presence that and I and I feel that the moment every time I see you in the warmth of your smile, your intelligence, your wisdom and your willingness to really think through and push back um, proffer ideas that are out of my own thinking uh, space and pathway. It excites me to uh, you expand my thinking processes and you encourage me to continue to move forward. Uh, I respect the, the morals and the ethics that you bring and the depth of wisdom. So thank you. Thank you. Um, for those of you who have served on the CRC, you already know that we have uh, a year give or take a period of working with the CRC before we actually join it officially. So that gives everyone a chance to see whether, oh, this, whether it's a good fit or not. And Jeffrey started working with us back in October. And right away, he brought two gifts that beautifully complement one another and really show different facets of his character. One was, to our CRC monthly Zoom meetings, he brought get to know you exercises so that we could spend five or 10 minutes in playful, but also insightful little exercises together. Another, uh, the other aspect that he brought was becoming the secretary of the CRC and his Meeting minutes are wonders of economy. He mm -hmm. has this uh, very clear thinking, he's articulate, incisive. And so that aspect of Jeffrey, with, along with the creativity, it just weaves together so beautifully. I really appreciate working with you, Jeffrey, in our efforts to support anthroposophy in the central region. And thank you for joining us. All right. <clears throat> well, I think that I really, when we first started this particular study group, and Jeffrey always seemed to be there, and he always had really insightful questions about the work. And they were the kind of questions that were not the type that I would have asked. And they were very insightful about looking at a Steiner thought or one of his, you know, ideas that I'd never looked at in that way. And that always struck me as being such a interesting, you know, thought process that that's what you came up with. But then we went to Dallas and we were there for the solstice, or I'm sorry, for the um, eclipse. Was a meeting, right, but it was for the eclipse. And we were talking, just Jeffrey and I, and I knew that he was a Waldorf teacher and I knew that he, you know, was involved as a drama teacher as well. And so because my daughter went to Steiner um, and I saw the work that they did in drama, 
on stage every year from first grade on, I knew what an important role it was. But then Jeffrey said um, that he didn't, you know, he didn't feel like um, he was very outgoing or, you know, that people would come and, and talk to him when he was growing up and that he always wanted that. And I just kind of looked at him and said, what? Like, I couldn't even imagine that of him because he was such a likable, friendly, open person. And then he, he had memorized like the whole speech that he gave at one of the groups that we were doing in Dallas. And he just did it so dramatically. And it was so, yeah, that's the drama teacher at a Waldorf school. And so I guess I saw these other things because those working out in the community, those things you do have so much more effect than just reading about it. And that's why I appreciate you, Jeffrey. And I really am glad that you wanted to join the group. And now we'll hear what Jeffrey's prepared. Well, I'll read a poem first, and then I'll, I'll talk a little bit about um, my choice. <laughs> this is a poem called Service. They go deep into themselves, deep in the hidden chamber, the red shrine of incense, candles, pulsing air, attendants strip them bare, humiliation among ceremonial robes of emerald green wear. They are to give the needed answer, though they do not know the question. The tile is cold, their feet seem far away. The waterfall they had not seen sounds, and in a tumult on a ghostly throne, a king-queen surveys the realm. They force their proud knees down, then forehead touches ground until thrill enters through the spine, possessing heart and mind. And just before they cease, a pathway opens in a gust of light, formed by the triplet sisters who redeem. No longer what or why, but how may I? So to be honest, I, I was drawn to to uh, quite quickly to the natures of Lisa, Mary, and Michael. Um, and that um, has grown as I've gotten to know them better and met them in person and worked with them. Um, and so that was a tremendous impulse for me to join. And of course, the other thing is at my age and time of life, uh, really, it's more about what I can give. And this seems a way that I can give to a community that I value, um, even if it's across a Zoom land, um, and speak to the needs of ourselves and our community and the world. that's all I need to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Jeffrey. All right. Uh, I will try to post this group statement of support. Um, let's see. Sharing my screen. Do we know where Jeffrey lives? Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you. Thank you for asking. So uh, right. our plan here is for everyone as a group to unmute for and to speak, and we know it will be chaos. But 
be the um, the bold. I don't know what would happen if I did. I don't want to ruin everything. <laughs> the bold lines. <laughs> can can you scroll? Right. Yeah, we need to do some scrolling here. Who's who's got the? That would be you, Mary. You're you. Someone else is moving it right there now. We go. Oh, I'm right. moving it. I oh, okay. just moved it up, so it must be me. Sorry. Okay. I I thought it was maybe Armon or something. I didn't know. <laughs> That's perfect. There we go. Right. Good. Thank you, Mary. Jeffrey, for the work you are taking up. We we thank you. you. In your work for anthroposophy, we support, we support you. you. May wisdom shine through you. Love grow within you. And strength penetrate you. That good is And Lisa will lead us in the hallelujah in your rhythm. Great. We can cancel the screen share. Michael, is that, are you on the screen share? Can you see? I'm trying to. Got it. Got it. All right, there we are. Again, if you'd like to stand, that would be fine. And if you would like to sit, that would be fine as well. <laughs> we are so excited to begin this new phase and continue to deepen this new phase. So we feel this hallelujah. Thanks, Lisa. No. Yes, thank you, Lisa. And so just give Jeffrey a little whoop, holler, applause, ho however you want to express your support. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and so grateful to all of our alumni, um, uh, Burley, and for... Um, uh, for Alberto and Dennis. We're so grateful that you could join us today. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm those ready. of you who are signing off now, just uh, leave the meeting and thank you for your presence. And the rest of us will stick around for the study group. Everyone is welcome All to right. stay, regardless of whether you feel prepared. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Bart Eddy also on the group? Uh, CRC with you, uh, Burley, or was that after? That was a different generation. I don't remember him being there. Oh, okay. I think he was on the East Eastern. Hmm. No, he because he's here. Him and Sus, his wife is the arrhythmia teacher at the Detroit Waldorf School. But Bart is now. I mean, he's traveling to China and doing a whole lot of, it's all anthroposophical work, um, like the threefold system and, and that kind of thing. But he also tried to start a charter 
Waldorf School in Detroit. Um, yeah. So he's, you know, he's done quite a bit of things. Tried is tried. Tried. Yeah. I'm also tried. noticing, <laughs> um, John, I'm pretty sure that I have not met you before. Am I right about that? Is this your first time on the study group? Yes, my first okay, time. Okay, fantastic. So, yeah. so glad to have you. Thank, thank thought, you. Um, yeah. We could all maybe just quickly go around the Zoom room and say where we're from. Uh, I'm from Kansas. And, uh, Lisa? I am from Dallas, Fort Worth. Jeffrey? Uh, I see Ferd, Louisville, Kentucky. Mike? I am from Pinckney, outside of Ann Arbor. Early? I'm Bridgeville, Michigan, outside of him, south of Detroit. Mary Lynn also. Near Good. Toledo. <laughs> I'm from Arlington, Massachusetts, suburb of Boston. Stuart? I'm from Dallas. Leon? Le oh, Leon's muted. Leon's muted. Sorry about that. Um, maybe you'd be glad I'm, I'm made, muted <laughs> most of the time. Anyway, no. uh, up in Chicago. <laughs> and Tom? I'm Tom, also in Chicago. <laughs> Dave? I'm in uh, extreme western Minnesota. Yeah, uh, I think that's me. I'm in uh, Nevada, California, which is Marin, which is just north of San Francisco. Yeah. Oh. Rosemary. I didn't realize that. I'm I'm originally from Chicago, and I'm living in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right. And, and Travis. Travis. I'm living in uh, England, Arkansas, which is just southeast of Lowell. Right. Yeah. And John, where are you from? I'm in Chicago. Oh, great. All right. All right. So uh, the way we usually run the study group is we we have two volunteers who are going to summarize the chapter. Mike, do you have a verse to transition us into the study group portion? Um, I do. OK, great. So Mike will do that. Then we'll have our volunteers do a summary. And because we, of course, took longer than we anticipated for the induction, we'll try to keep everything a little bit shorter tonight. And then we have group discussion. In the wide universe weaves the true nature of the human being. In the human core is mirrored the image of the cosmos. The eye unites both, thus creating the true meaning of existence. And I'm going to stop the recording.